What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of the most unique explosive weapons in all of Fallout 76. We have the Missile Launcher. Starting off with the weapon, this is it. This is my 3-star legendary Missile Launcher that we're using for the video, and the main legendary effect is the 2-shot effect, which is shoots an additional projectile, has the VATS critical hits do plus 50% to damage, and it also has a faster movement speed while aiming. Over in the mods, we have the Tri-Barrel and the Targeting Computer, which is the main mod you need with this weapon. When you have that mod on this weapon, you basically have a heat-sinking Missile Launcher. Now over in the demonstration, with our all-powerful heat-seeking missile launcher, we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center. And we've got our click going, so all I have to do is aim up just like this. And gosh, dang, that super mutant is dead. What about this one over here? You don't even have to aim up. You can aim over here, too. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's insane. That is absolutely ridiculous. I must thank Angry Turtle for showing this on one of his videos because I had no idea about this missile launcher. And look at the base damage of this missile launcher with it being a two shot. 1,636. That's of course with all my perks equipped, but still that's an insane amount of damage. Especially with this auto locking on it. Let me just uh, see if we can't find any guys over here. All right, I hear it, I hear it. Oh, we've missed, it went directly down. That was bad, that was bad. We got those guys, okay, oh no. Excuse you, doggy. Let me just aim over here so I don't kill myself, hopefully. There we go. Absolutely amazing. That explosion is massive, so I gotta be really careful. Oh, we can also do this in vats, of course, of course. Look at that. Goodbye, you stupid super mune. And outside of vats. How oh, fantastic. These super munes can always send the power of the missile launcher. Is there anyone else? Oh, God, we see a guy right over here. All right, I wanna get some distance on this one. We're gonna go for Kobe. All right, we're gonna get over here on this rock. Fantastic. There we go. There we go. We want that guy. There we go. We're going for the moon. There we go. We didn't make it to the moon whatsoever. All right, look at this. Over here, you got to curve the bullet. See that? You just got to curve the bullet. The next way Simon Strassi on our list to fill the wrath of the missile launcher is a level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Lenny. We're actually going to start this off in VATS. There we go, we hit him, absolutely amazing. Let's try to get a VATS critical on him real quick. One more shot. And that is not a VATS critical, but poor Lenny is dead. Now we made our way to one of my bestest friends in all of Appalachia. We have the level 75 Scorch Beast that goes by the name Charlie. And look at her all flying and stuff. Let me just uh, make sure we're heat synced. Oh, there we go. Sorry, Charlie, sorry about this. Look at that. Oh my God, that was absolutely amazing. One more shot, one more shot. There we go. You cannot escape the missile launcher, Charlie. I apologize about this. I know we've had some beef in the past, but uh, today is the day you die. There we go. Let me just shoot her in the legs, the arms, the wings, whatever the heck it is. Get the heck on away from me, Scorch. I'm not here for you. I'm here for Charlie. Look at that. This is one of the best weapons in Fallout 76. For our next Wasteland Monstrosity on the list for the demonstrations, we have the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs. We're just going to go for the moon on this one. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Don't what? I wonder if I have to like keep relocking onto her. Let me see. Uh oh, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. I think I just relocked onto her. There we go. She cannot withstand the power of this missile launcher. Oh lord, I need you to get on back. Okay, do not come at me, girl. Do not come at me. Let me just get up here real quick. This is a smart decision. All right, my little queen. Where are you? Where are you? I hear you, but I don't see you. Where is this stupid beast? Oh god, there it is, there it is. Okay, here, there we go, there we go. Absolutely amazing, just a couple more shots on. Oh god, don't kill myself. Please do not kill myself. Ew, ooh, look at that. No, we're gonna kill you and all of them. Sorry about this, Myler Queen. Excuse you. There we go, and that fat's critical to the face and this Myler Queen has exploded into pieces. Over in the build, these are all the base stats that make up the in-game explosive build that we're using for the video, so if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over in the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game explosive build. Starting off in strength, we have four, and this one can have traveling pharmacy at one star. Weights of all camps, including stim packs, are reduced by 30%. We have blocker maxed out, take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 15, and this one can have all the commando cards maxed out. Now this is a hybrid build due to the explosive weapons only requiring the demolition expert to get damage. So you can also go with the commando build like I do, or you can go with a shotgunner build or a minigun explosive build. But altogether, this is a hybrid build. We have tank killer maxed out. Your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have concentrate fire at one star. That's now target limbs. Focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. We have grenadier maxed out. Your explosives detonate with twice the radius. And this makes our explosions with explosive weapons extremely massive. Over in endurance, we have nine and this 
this so we can have Kinfeen maxed out. Any Kims you take last 100% longer, and we did take Overdrive and Psycho Tats in this video. We have Fireproof maxed out. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Radical maxed out. The greater the rads, the greater the strength, a max plus 5 to strength. We have Rejuvenated maxed out. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. Over in Charisma, we have 6, and this one can have Filth Surgeon maxed out. Stim packs and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Strange in Numbers maxed out. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 8, and this one can have Nerd Rage maxed out. Wall below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP region. We have Demolition Expert maxed out. Your explosives do plus 60% to damage. Over in Agility, we have 15, and this one can have Action Boy maxed out. Action points are generate 45% faster. We have Mr. Sandman maxed out. At night, your silence weapons do plus 100% sneak attack damage. We have Gunfu maxed out. Vat swap targets on kill with a 10% to 20% then 30% to damage to your next three targets. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy at two stars. Avoid 20% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in luck, we have 15 and this one can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode and go at right pace. We have Better Criticals maxed out. Vat's Criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have Ricochet maxed out. Gain an 18% chance to defend Deflect back some of your enemy's range damage, no PvP. We have 4 Leaf Cover at 1 star. Each hit Vats has a chance to fill your critical meter. We have Starch Genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from Rads, and Radway will never cure your mutations. And we have Critical Savvy maxed out. Critical hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter. Now this is the entire build that we use for the demonstrations, but if you were to just use this missile launcher and it by itself, all you're really going to need is Demolition Expert because this is where you're going to get the most amount of damage for your explosive weapons. Adrenaline will also help you in this scenario. Over in the Legendary Bar cards, these are Legendary Bar cards that help make up our in-game build. Starting off to Intelligence, we have that card maxed out. We have Endurance maxed out. Strength at 3 stars. Luck at 3 stars. Electric Absorption at 1 star. And Taking 1 for the team maxed out. These are the Legendary Perk cards. Now let's get to my Armor, Mutations, and Buffs. Starting off with the Armor, what we're using is a full set of Overeaters T65 Power Armor. And the reason we go with the Overeaters is because it says increases damage reduction up to 6% as you fill your Hunger and Thirst meters. And we did eat a perfect bubblegum, so our Hunger and Thirst meters were filled for a full hour. Over the Mutations, these are the Mutations that we're using for the build. We have Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, Eagle Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Herbivore, Marsupial, Sky Skin, and Speed Demon. Now over in our food and kim buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we have Mutt Fruit Juice to get a plus 2 to our agility. We have Simple Firm Flower Tea to get a plus 2 to our strength. Tato Juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP. Blight Soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage. Carrot Soup to get a plus 4 to perception. And of course, a perfect bubblegum. That way, hunger and thirst meters do not increase. Over in our Kim buffs, we have Overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage. And we have Psycho Tats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception. Damage resistance increase and damage plus 11%. Now, if you take them Overdrive and Psycho Tats, you can stack these. If you enjoy Fault content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the most powerful weapons in all of Fault 76, the Fat Man. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is my Fat Man video. <laughs>